She's running for mayor, and so she is knowledgeable. Um, <laughs> I carry those free guys with me everywhere. Co-chairman of the camp council down here, and so I definitely am going to try to figure out how to give you guys yeah. proper information. Um, Cor how, how long are you going to be in town? Probably a couple of days. Okay. I learned to knit first in my early 20s when I was in college and learned by accident that crochet is, well, knitting at that point, is a fabulous self-accommodation for dealing with ADHD or anxiety or trauma. I find it really therapeutic um, yeah. in a whole variety of ways and I think, I think bringing that to people where they are could be great. My, I mean, if you can tell my hands are itching. Itching crochet. to do things. Do you know how to crochet already? Nope. Well, I brought some things. I'm so excited about this Are part. you? Oh, gosh, yes. Well, this is the best place to start then. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these. Yeah. Is there something that, that you respond to or that? I was drawn to this because I remember a very soft white sweater that my mom had that she would, Yay. whenever she wore it, it was when I was a really little kid, I felt safe. Yeah. Right? That was the safe part. It was like, here she is. Just enveloped. Take by that me. Yeah. Soft got white. Me. Yes, cloud exactly. Of a mom. It was the safety of it all. <laughs> the loop? The loop. The pretzel. What I call the pretzel knot, it's just a slip knot. Grab your yarn from the front. Okay. Twist. Twist. And pull it through. I hold it like this. You know, and everybody finds their their way, but you know, I sort of regulate. Basically keeping the tension. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There okay. you go. Okay. And now you're gonna grab your yarn again. Hook it again. All right. Twist it. I and I, I was... and then I hold the the okay. knot there so it doesn't yep. just unravel. Yep. There you go. That's it. That's you did it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you're making a chain. And then you <laughs> I know it's like I'm magic. having some kind of fun now. <laughs> it's like magic. It's like magic. So you just do that until it's as long as you want it to be. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's just one stitch at a time, that's all it is. <laughs> that's all it is, yeah. It's, it's a great lesson for life. Is that true? No it really kidding. Is. <laughs> one stitch at a time in life. That's it. Some, and sometimes you have to unravel it. You know, like what makes it home for you? Well, I'm, I'm not technically a local, which means a lot to some people. Um, I've only been here for um, around for about 30, 30 <laughs> some years, but that's not local. <laughs> Not, not according to local, local standards. I've had some tough times here. Um, not as much as some people, but I've had tough times. And there have been the most amazing, um, rough and radical people to that, that, that show me love, real love. I see them at their worst when they're having to drop, when they're just about ready to go to prison or a court mm. or, or um, try to go try to get their kids back and and just to have that that interconnected energy of these amazing survivors mm -hmm. that floor me it is. it's hard yeah I think our community oh. feels a certain level of, of grieving and anxiety over over housing at different levels you know so I think some of the responses to grieving can be depression, yes, anger, uh -huh. blaming others. Absolutely. But I, you know, so are you trying to stay compassionate when people are so afraid and I'm anxious? I'm glad you mentioned that, mentioned the, the compassion because I've been saying this for a couple of years to people using the compassion word that the compassion meter in Santa Cruz around homeless. Mm -hmm. If this is, we're very compassionate, mm -hmm. the meter's going like this. Mm -hmm. There is an increase in the fear and anger part mm -hmm. around homelessness. Mm -hmm. And 
boy, that's not exactly a recipe for a happy community solution to a problem. No. Uh, but, but the other side of that is people's eyes don't lie to them. They mm. look and they say, why is it getting worse, not better? Mm -hmm. And then you and I are talking in the public space about then what the hell do we do about it? That's why I think you're such a good person. Everybody I talk to and they say, well, who are you running against? I said, I'm not running against anybody. I said, Joy and I are both running for mayor, yeah. if that's what you mean. <laughs> yeah. But what's so good is the voters can't lose on this. If you're elected or if I'm elected, they're going to get somebody committed to Santa Cruz values, I think. Yeah, I think that's true. You know. So this is obviously a work in progress. These are not connected yet, but the intention is for this to come around the corner and it'll be attached up here. Um, and then this I'm kind of excited about. This is an emergency blanket. You know, sometimes I buy a case of them to um, share with people who live outside. So if you, if you come look through the window, it's almost like, a, like an old, what, like daguerreotype or something? With Greg, um, I feel like Greg's my friend, and I miss him because I haven't seen him for months. You know, since the Benchlands have been closed, people have been moved around a lot living outside at the Benchlands, he had some stability of place, so he could collect materials and make sculptures. And for Fred, you know, I think it's harder for me to identify with Fred. I'm not sure that he's interested in rescinding ordinances like the camping standards and services ordinance or the oversized vehicle ordinance because politically those are much more difficult because we do have complaints driven policing um, and a loud section of the community that is um, that thinks that policing is is perhaps the best or the only way to deal with issues around sanitation or lack of housing or or poverty I would love to hear him talk about it more. How could we rewrite this ordinance to be an ordinance that cares for people rather than um, one that's punitive with a sort of sprinkling of care on top? Man, I mean, I think this is a magnificent community that has immense possibilities and we should be coming up with, with earth shattering, miraculous, solutions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to see our community, mm -hmm. a larger community, come together and pull a rabbit out of the hat. Santa Cruz, if anybody on this planet. coast and everybody on this planet has the capability to do this, we do. 